What's going on guys? We are Southwest Active Explorers and today we're talking about custom four-wheel drive off-road builder parts. Specifically, we're going to be talking about Barnes four-wheel drive and some of the unique parts that they offer that really help when you're building an off-road rock crawler. If you're new to the channel and into off-roading, rock crawling, and all things Jeep, make sure you check out some of our other videos, hit the like and subscribe button, and hit that bell for notifications. All right, let's get into it. I got a bunch of Barnes four-wheel drive parts in the mail the other day. I got a custom CJ7 rock crawler sitting next to me, or that's what it will be soon anyways. We're gonna use a bunch of Barnes four-wheel drive parts to really help us build the CJ7. It'll make the build go a lot faster as we don't wanna take the time to design these parts ourselves. And Barnes has already put a lot of research and, and product development into making these parts as good as they can be. Let's tear into the first one here. I've got here the Pro Series GM Dana 60 front axle truss. I really like this one. It's made out of quarter inch and 3 16 ultra 100 steel. Another thing that's really nice about it is they've designed the, the truss to sit as low as possible on top of the axle. If you're building a linked suspension, which we are, that's important as your link separation needs to be at certain amounts for how you design your suspension. This truss will allow you to keep that top link mount as low as possible, allowing you the most amount of freedom in how you design your suspension. The truss is pretty sweet. I'll take it out of the box, set it up so you guys can see it. They cut everything out really well. It just slots together. It, it jigs right together like a puzzle piece. It's really nice. As you can see, I've got it set up. It all just jigs and slots right together so you can mock it all up. Uh, they use little tabs like this that go right into these slots that help hold it all together. This is one of the upright pieces that goes front to back, sets on the axle, and just helps tie everything together. <clears throat> It's designed with eight inches of separation, so you'll have eight inches from where your top link would be to the center of your front axle. As I mentioned before, that gives you a lot of free freedom in how you set things up. So this is what it looks like. One of the big reasons why I decided that I wanted to go with this setup is Barnes offers a couple different accessories that go with it. One of the big ones being they offer a, offer a double-ended front hydraulic ram steering mount that I want. So we're gonna be using that as well. As you can see, the steering mount is pretty awesome. It's, it's a huge skid, so it's gonna perfectly protect the double-ended ram. It's really heavy duty, super beefy. One of the things I really like about this one, it's designed so that the diff cover can still be removed. You can do gearing or locker maintenance or, or anything you would really have to do in there with no problems. The, uh, the mount is not gonna mess you up in regards to that. It's all designed to work together really well. Uh, I've always wanted a setup like this. I knew that I didn't want to take the time to try to make something like this myself, and they offer a really good solution for that. There's a couple more parts that are still in the box that'll bridge here, and it'll offer, it'll mount the ram right here, and your short little tie rods that go out to the knuckles, it'll work great. I'm really looking forward to using it. Really like how all of this is designed to fit right together, and it's all super heavy duty, I have no concerns about damaging any of this. All right, so I showed you and talked about what I'm planning to do on the front end of the Jeep. I got a couple more things that I wanna show you guys and talk about. One of them being the rear axle truss. Uh, I'm using a, a paired set, so for my rear axle, I'm using the Pro Series GM 14 bolt full width axle truss. This one in particular is for a single rear wheel axle, which is what I happen to have. This is also made out of quarter inch and 3 16 steel. It's made out of ultra 100 steel, which is designed that way to be light yet incredibly strong. They use more or less the same design on this one. They use the same tab and slot method so that it just jigs right together. You can mock it all up before you actually put it on your axle. Uh, and then you just gotta do some prep work and weld it on. As you can see, it looks very similar to the front axle truss, which it should, considering they use more or less the same design methods. Another thing I like about this one a lot, they design it once again in mind for the guys that are doing linked suspensions. 
This one is also designed to keep your top mounting surface as low as possible so that you have the most control over what your link separation is going to be. A couple things that I plan to order but have yet to order and why I really like this setup. They have bump stop pads that are designed to attach right to this axle truss so it'll come out and be a level pad for your bump stops and they also offer different things like shock mounts and stuff like that. I will be doing a four link to this so we're going to be mounting everything off of this for my suspension as well. I really like how they've designed this. It looks really strong. Same as the front end. I honestly can't imagine damaging this and using their prefab parts is really going to speed up the build of our CJ. That's just less time in development and work that we need to do. I know that I can install this pretty quickly. This here is a pretty beefy part that I want to show you. This thing's much more beefy than I anticipated, but I really like it. This is their pinion guard and bridge kit for the 14 bolt axle. It works directly with the truss that I bought. It's going to do three things for you. It's going to help tie everything to the axle and not let anything rotate. Rigs with big horsepower and big tires are noticing that they're actually spinning the axle tubes inside the housing. By tying the truss forward to the pinion, it won't allow that to happen. Another thing, it protects the U-joint and the pinion yoke. Uh, this thing's 3 8 inch thick. It's going to do a lot of protecting for that area. It's still designed to be really high clearance though, so you shouldn't have any issues with clearance. And lastly, it just helps distribute the load, tie everything in for much more structural integrity. This thing's going to be a really nice touch to that kit, and it's another one of those things that I didn't want to design myself, but I really wanted. I'm really happy they made this for that application and really looking forward to using it. This bundle here, I, I didn't want to open this bundle up yet. I don't want to get the parts all mixed up, but it's all the different little plates and brackets that are used with that front uh, double-ended hydraulic ram steering mount. So there's just a bunch of little plates and extra pieces that go along with that. And then the last thing I want to show you is something I'm really excited about and one of the big reasons that I wanted to order from Barnes. I don't know if other companies make this. I haven't seen it. I'm sure one or two do. But Barnes is the main one that I've seen that makes this kit. They offer a cross-member mounting kit. To me, this kit's pretty cool. It offers you a two and a half inch wide mounting width. It's two inches wide and quarter inch wall. So you can design any cross member that you need. This application, I'm, I'm building a CJ7 on a YJ frame with an LS and an automatic transmission. No company makes a cross member for that setup, but I still wanted something that would be rubber mounted, something that would have a little bit of flex. And this kit will allow me to do that. I can build my cross member and weld it right to this uh, sleeve. And then these super beefy tabs will, will weld right to my frame, frame rails, allowing me to tie everything together. Really excited about this kit. I don't know if other companies make it, but I know Barnes does, and this is why I wanted to go with them. If you're doing custom off-road fabrication, it's parts like this that makes Barnes 4-wheel drive pretty awesome. They're super knowledgeable. I had a couple questions about this stuff, called them up within five minutes on the phone. I had the answers I was looking for, and I really like that. They really know their stuff, and I highly recommend them. Uh, this is all the parts I wanted to show you today. Next thing we're going to be doing is installing these parts and building the Jeep. Uh, if you're into checking out a, a really custom build, a rock crawler, uh, this thing's going to be on tons, linked, coilovers, like I said, LS. Make sure you come back and check out our future videos. And if you're into off-roading, rock crawling, or all things Jeep, make sure you check out some of our other videos. Uh, if you like this and like our other content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. As always, guys, stay active and keep exploring.